Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So today's episode is what we're looking at. This is called the water bob. Now, the water bob is a water containment system. This is for people who can't store water the traditional way, whether that's a water barrel, have water tanks in your basement. If you live in an apartment or a small room, if you will, this is the ideal system you should go with for storing water. Now, keep in mind, there are other methods, other methods of where you should be storing water. So as you can see, this water bob uh, fits my tub. Now my tub is fairly small, but it fits most tubs. Unless you have some oddball shape going on, it might not. But if you have a standard size tub or shape tub, it'll fit in just fine. Now, here's the plus side to this thing. There's a downside and I'll get to that a little later, but the upside to that is this holds a hundred gallons of water. So a hundred gallons of water, you figure a gallon of water a day for a person or two, if you're looking to uh, clean as well, you have anywhere between a hundred to 50 days, sorry, you have 50 days to a hundred days worth of water. So if you're actually using two gallons a day, uh, again, for washing and cleaning and drinking, you have 50 days. Now, I don't know anyone who actually drinks a gallon of water a day, but there's some people who do, and I don't know who's actually using a gallon to clean, but that's a, a I guess a rough uh, measurement. So you're probably gonna have, like I said, 50 to 100 days, maybe a little less, a little more, depends on how much you use and depends on how many people in your family. Now this would last me probably 25 days because there are four people in my family, including myself. So with four of us, that's about 25 days worth of water. Here's the other thing, guys. This is 100 gallons of water. A gallon of water weighs approximately 8.35 pounds. So right here in front of you is probably 834 pounds of water. So you have to take that into account. If you have uh, very weak or shitty floors, if you live in a very, very old building, you wanna consider that there's 800 pounds of water in here. Now, you also you also have to consider when you fill up the tub and you sit in it, you and the water are probably now around a thousand pounds, right? So keep that in mind. Um, I like I said, give or take depends on the depth of your tub, the size of your tub. You could be anywhere between seven to a thousand pounds of weight in this tub or a tub. Sorry. This water containment system is a heavy, heavy duty, food grade, FDA approved plastic. It's easy to hook up as you can see, though I had to use duct tape to keep the, uh, the sleeve attached to the faucet because every time I turned it on, I guess the water pressure was pushing the sleeve down. So I duct taped it to it so it fit on. So keep that in mind when you slip the sleeve on to fill this up. You can treat this. They say that you have approximately 16 day, 16 weeks of clean drinking water. I guess that's the amount of time that mold and stuff builds up. You can treat this. So though nowhere on a water bob site does it suggest you treat it. If it's food grade plastic, I'm going to go on the, uh, on the safer side and say you can treat this water. Now, if you're treating this water, you have to look at the bleach content. There's a 6% and then there's 8.25%. So it depends on which percentage of bleach you use is going to dictate how much bleach you put in this uh, water bob. So for example, if you're going to use 6% bleach at one gallon of water, you're going to put eight drops. If you're going to use 8.25% uh, of bleach, you're going to put six drops of water, right? So obviously the higher the percentage of bleach, the less you're going to use. If you're going to use two gallons of uh, water to with a 6% uh, amount of bleach, that is 16 drops. If you're going to use 8.25% bleach, you're going to put 12 drops, which is one eighth of a teaspoon and then so on and so forth. Now, once you put the bleach in this, you have to do the math for this, because keep in mind, this is anywhere between, I'm gonna say 95 gallons to 100. It depends on the size of your tub. 
Once you put the bleach in here, you have to let it sit. You stir the water the best you can and you let it sit for 30 minutes before drinking. So now, if you have a backyard and you don't want to give up your tub, you could build a box to the dimension of a regular tub. You can use uh, track ratchet straps to hold the box together with nails and you could put this in and fill it up. So now, I am going to demonstrate pumping in a couple of seconds. Also guys, the water bob is now $34.95 per water bob. And in the water bob, you get this. You get the water bob, you get the sleeve, and you get the siphoning pump. Pretty sure you can put your own siphoning pump on if you have one, or a better one, or maybe even an automatic one, which probably would make it easier. But nonetheless, this is what it comes with. Now, when you go on other websites like eBay or, or LetGo, whatever those other uh, sites are you can buy stuff like this from, they are going to double, if not triple, the price of this thing. So try to get it directly from waterbob.com or on Amazon from Waterbob, if that makes any sense. The easy hookup, it is easy. It's very easy. You just slip the sleeve on. You throw some duct tape around the sleeve. You fill it up. It takes anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes to fill up. So while you're filling this up, you have to watch it. Don't walk away from it. Don't you know do anything else. You got to watch it just in case. Sometimes the sleeve will pinch itself and the water will go back out through the sleeve and not into the water bottle. So keep that, in, uh, keep that in mind. So as you can see, I took the top off and the water's not spouting through or spraying through. Some of you might might have been thinking that, but no, the water is staying in place. So it's not like it's under pressure or anything like that. Though it looks like it is, it really isn't. You take the siphon. Now listen, the siphon is probably a little cheap, but like I said, you can get your own as long as you have the standard thread to go uh, connect to this. There's a ton of work involved in this. That's why if you can get yourself a better siphon, by all means, do so. All right, guys, so now that's probably about 16 ounces of water. That took me maybe 20 seconds, right? So again, obviously siphoning water is going to be work. You can get one that's better, uh, but you got to make sure it fits the standard thread of, or the size to this, sorry, not the standard thread, the size to this. So that's the only thing you have to worry about. I mean, other than that, guys, there's no leaking um, factors with this because it's a heavy duty plastic. Uh, this thing's almost like a waterbed. Also, please don't lay on it. Don't treat it like a waterbed. That would be uh, stupid. I don't know what the weight of a person would do to this. So don't stand on it and don't lay on it. Not a waterbed, guys. Uh, just keep that in mind, right? So again, uh, one, you're siphoning. You can use a, a pot. You can use a food grade uh, water storage container, whatever that is, whatever uh, food grade storage, water storage container you're going to use, you can fill that up as well. So there's a lot of things you can do with that. I would put that in a uh, water container first instead of pouring it straight into a pot, right? So that now you're not going back and forth constantly. You put it into a food grade uh, water storage container you can fill it up to five gallons. Now, five gallons might take you a couple of minutes. Nonetheless, guys, it's work. During an emergency, during a shit hits the fan scenario, guys, you're going to put in work, period. That's the only way you survive. Survival is meant for workers and people who are going to work, okay? So it's not easy. This here was a pain in the ass, just sitting here and doing this, right? And doing this, this is a pain in the balls. Bent over, right? It's not meant to be easy. Now, I did take the top off for one reason. The little top that came with it here, if you can see that, that top was on top of this, but I took it off so that I can control the amount of water coming through. And now it's coming through a lot faster with my thumb over it. But nonetheless, this is still going to take time to drink. Now, unfortunately, guys, oh, here's the other thing, too. When you're done with the, the siphon, whatever the siphon is, put it back and stick it here in the side so that any water leaks out, it goes 
into the tub uh, back down the drain or you can undo this and stick it back into that so that the water goes back into where it belongs during uh, the shit hits the fan scenario grid down scenario water is very valuable especially for us that live in the city so every drop counts so guys other than that if you like the water bob i'm going to put a link to the water bob in the description section below i'm going to put one from amazon from water bob and i'm putting water bob's website directly in the description section below you guys can purchase from there uh, obviously with the whole COVID shit mailing is going to take a little bit so keep that in mind uh, but they say they do ship it out pretty fast when they have them available and they do have them available so keep that in mind all right guys this is the angry prepper thank you for watching you can like subscribe to this channel you can also follow me on instagram facebook tumblr and twitter other than that guys thank you for watching